Hey everybody, we're back. Welcome to Life with Diddy. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button or you can click the little box right here in the corner and subscribe and make sure you like this video, rate this video, share this video if you care. Also, make sure that you go ahead and watch the rest of our videos as well. There's also a playlist available as well. So as you could probably already tell from the title of this video, uh, today's video is about potty training. We're going to be talking about the three different types of potty training that I have used, which is the pee pad, the grass patch, and the regular outside outdoor dog training, and my experiences with those three things. So initially, I didn't have any information whatsoever on what to do. I was taking him out um, once every three hours when I first got him because he was three months old, and that's what I thought that you were supposed to do, you know? Um, and eventually, uh, taking him out kind of became a little difficult because I was working and everything. So I would have to take him out before I went to work. And then while I was at work, what was he going to do? So I ended up buying him pee pads, which leads us to pee pads. Um, and I bought a pack of, I think, 50 pee pads if I'm not mistaken and let me see if I actually so the bag of pee pads that I initially purchased him actually looked just like this and it says absorbs three cups and it's a great choice <laughs> and this is what the pad looks like on the inside I don't know if you guys can see this too well and it has these little sticky things on the outside for you to be able to stick um, it to the floor or a surface um, area. And I actually use those to not stick to the floor, but for me to actually fold it up and throw it away in the trash. So for me, the whole time that he was a puppy, him using the pee pad wasn't too much of a hassle for me just because he needed somewhere to use the restroom while I was gone for the day or if I wasn't able to take him with me and then also him learning not to use the restroom inside of the house was actually very very important because just because you take your dog outside doesn't mean that they won't have accidents inside same way with them using pads just because they're using the pad doesn't mean that they're not going to have an accident but that's also why it's called an accident and what we're trying to do is prevent the use of the restroom inside as much as we can and if we cannot prevent it we want to um, eliminate every other option except for the one option that we want which would be the pee pad or if you guys have a grass patch which leads us to the grass patch so i don't have the grass patch with me right now um, However, I'll go ahead and insert a picture of the grass patch right here. So we didn't do what most people do that are aware of the grass patch, which is to go ahead and order a fresh patch or um, dog patch or whatever um, the name of the patch of grass is that you're purchasing from the company. We went ahead and instead of doing that and ordering it, we went ahead and went to our local home uh, I was going to say Home Goods. We're always there. But no, we went to Home Depot. And um, the patch of grass that I purchased was the exact same measurements of the patch of grass that I would have ordered. But it was, I want to say, at least three times cheaper. It was only about $8 and some change. It was under $10. Um, and it lasted for about a week and a half. And then it started to smell really, really bad. Like the urine smell was so strong that it just wasn't funny. And then it just got to the point where he didn't even want to use the patch anymore because it just smelled so bad. So, so we did the grass patch probably twice um, total. That's probably the one method that we used the least out of everything. Um, just because the smell of that urine was so disgusting. Like it was really, really nasty. And I don't see um us ordering the one from one of those companies and it's smelling any different in our home and we have candles everywhere we're definitely strong on the scent in our home and we don't want to come inside the door after being gone all day and it smells like strong piss like no okay so you're probably wondering okay well you're telling us about all these methods that you have tried 
which one are you actually using? And the one that we're actually using right now is we take him outside. Lately, for about the past month, he has not wanted to use the pee pads whatsoever. He doesn't want anything to do with it. It's very, very hard to get him to use the pee pad. He just won't do it. So we've been taking him outside. But the benefit of that is that as soon as we use the pee pad, we have to pretty much pick it up and throw it in the trash. We can't just keep it down because it holds the odor and the bacteria and everything is just too much and it's very disgusting. So because we end up taking him outside, we pretty much save money that way because we don't have to buy pee pads as often. Um, a lot of the times I noticed that he wasn't wanting to pee and poop on the pad he wanted to pretty much poop outside um and also it's more joyful when he's outside he gets to have a lot more fun prior to us moving where we live now he had a very decent sized backyard to run back and forth in and um it just was a different experience for him and i realized that i've been depriving him of what he's been used to for a while and that's just go ahead and taking him outside and making sure that he's able to visualize everything that we are when we are outside we like to be in nature as well so why wouldn't our pets you know so no matter how much i feel like it's convenient or inconvenient to do certain things for him i also have to think about if i were in his paws like if i were in his paws what would i want i would want to be taken outside as well as often as i could um who wants to just be stuck in the house all day and that's where you have to eat and that's where you have to play and that's where you have to sleep and that's where you have to poop no you want to get out experience nature smell around get the different scents especially for dogs because their scents a smell is so heightened um, a lot more than us humans so I definitely understand and I don't mind it um, I'll try to actually insert a video of me walking him right now you guys are like what why do you keep looking around on the ground well Diddy is actually right here um, he's looking at me He's like, what are you doing and when are you going to feed me lunch? Okay, so here's my opinion for those that care. I think that out of the three, taking your um, dog outside, uh, using pee pads, or using the green grass patch are all really good options. It just all kind of depends on what works best for you as an individual and for your pet. Um, as well because going outside is the one that I recommend for just everybody in general but if you can't do that say you live on the um, 22nd floor of a building or something and it's just really hard for you to get down I would go ahead and go with a grass patch or go with um, using a pee pad but then also you have to consider the cost factor in purchasing those things like do you have enough money every month to pay for whatever your dog needs plus the expense of paying for somewhere for them to use a restroom you have to definitely consider that Okay, so going outside, as we all know, is completely free. It costs nothing for you to take your dog outside for them to use a restaurant. A bag like this of pee pads, a 50 count, is about $15 at PetSmart. Um, depending on how big your dog is, you might need to buy two bags of pee pads a month. Um, and then the green grass patch is about $20 for a regular size, which is for like a small size dog. Um, and that you're going to have to probably purchase at least four times a month because after a week, a week and a half, it stinks really bad, very strong. Um, and, you know, you just got to kind of weigh out your options and see what you can afford and what bit best benefits you and your pet and just because you use pads or use grass patches does not mean that you need to neglect walking your dog and and making sure that they get the exercise that they need 
it's fun to play with them inside, but they actually need to go outside and walk. It's good for their cognitive skills. It's good for their muscles. It's good for their joints. It's just good for them all the way around. Their sense of smell, they get to experience life outside of a box. So I really hope that all of this has been very helpful for you guys. I hope that you found something um, that you needed. If you have any questions or if you have your own experiences that you would like to share, go ahead and put them inside the comment section below. And like I said in the beginning of this video, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more videos like this, and share the video if you care. Um, until next time, peace, I'm out.